This is a special grocery haul video. This is a gluten-free, dairy-free grocery haul. This is a super cheap items that I got that I don't, unfortunately, they're no longer on sale because it was during a clearance period at Walmart. Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you're new to this channel, I'm currently following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I'm on baby step number two, paying off about $42,000 in debt. I have videos about my budget, my debt snowball, grocery hauls, vlogs, everything in between. So if you guys want to continue to follow me on my journey, click the little red subscribe button down below, as well as the bell icon so you can get notified of when I post new videos. Walmart was revamping their gluten-free section, so they put a ton of stuff on clearance, and I caught it inside of the Facebook groups for gluten-free and stuff, saying how people got these great hauls, so I thought I would go and check it out myself. I just want to put a little disclaimer out there. I know one of the best ways to go gluten-free, dairy-free is to do so naturally with meats, fruits, vegetables, not processed foods, which is kind of what you see here. It's just that processed foods are the ones that tend to get marked up in the gluten-free, dairy-free world. And so these are where the best deals came from when I got this sale from Walmart. So that is what I'm showing you here. It does not mean that I do not have, you know, the fruits and vegetables in my diet. This stuff is meant to last me a while. So here's a brief reason of why I'm going gluten-free, dairy-free. If you guys want to hear a lot of the other medical stuff that I was going through and trying to figure out along the way, just let me know down below. But basically, I was going through a bunch of stuff, getting a couple of testings, and then by one of my doctor's orders, I was gluten-free, dairy-free for about three months. Of course, there was a learning curve, but by the end of the three months, I was pretty good about being completely clear about most of these things. I was feeling so much better. It made such a big difference in my health in just those three months. But then I needed to get my other testing done. I finally found a different GI doctor who did an endoscopy and did some other tests, but to do the tests for like celiac and such, while they're doing the endoscopy, you have to be eating gluten. So I went back on gluten for a while, and actually I found this stuff while I was on gluten, but I knew I would be going gluten-free again because of how it made me feel. No matter what the results were, I knew I was gonna go gluten-free and dairy-free again, so, I decided to stock up and besides these prices that I'm gonna tell you guys are totally worth it even for just regular food items so now that all of my testing is done I am NOT celiac but I do have a sensitivity it is gonna be a little bit easier to manage than having celiac I do know it's gonna make me feel way better if I go back to being gluten-free. I got a lot of things that I know I like and are safe to go for, some things that I knew people recommended, and then some other items to try out because it was just worth the price. Now there is four Walmarts here. There are three Walmart super centers and one Walmart neighborhood market. The neighborhood market was actually the biggest one that I was able to get I think the biggest haul from it was amazing unfortunately now that they have revamped their gluten-free section there are some items that I don't see on the shelf anymore which I guess makes sense why they put it on clearance because they were trying to get rid of it now all of this here this is 36 items all of this costs a total of $24.25 so that comes out to about 68 cents per item. Now let's break it down by actual prices. The biggest thing is making sure I watch the expiration dates on these, which is why I only got a certain amount of some of these items and then more of other items. And I knew how fast that I would probably eat them. You don't want to end up throwing food away because then that's just going to be throwing money into the trash, even if you got a great deal on it. I also did not clean off the shelves because I didn't want to be rude. I wanted other people to find these deals in my town. We'll start with this one here. This is Bob's Red Mill Gluten-Free Pizza Crust. I'm starting with this because at the first place that I went, it said that it was on sale for a dollar. And I have not tried it, 
but I've heard it's pretty good. And, you know, you're always looking for a good gluten-free pizza crust. I actually got two of these to try out. Their expiration dates are in 2020, so that gives me a year to try it out. So I thought that that would be fine. Um, two of them wasn't too much of a risk. Unfortunately, I have not seen this at Walmart again. So if I end up liking it, then I don't, I'm going to have to find it somewhere else. But they were originally $3.98, so that's almost $3 saved per bag. These are my absolute favorite chocolate chip cookies right now. I've heard some other brands are good, like I think Tate's um, gluten-free cookies. But these are the Enjoy Life Crunchy Cookies chocolate chip flavor, and they are amazing. I like these crunchy ones versus their soft cookies, but their soft cookies are pretty good too. So far, I'm liking Enjoy Life. Now, Enjoy Life is free from, like, all the top allergens, if you'll see here, free from gluten and all of these different things, so there's no milk in these either. I made sure that everything here also did not have dairy, since that's what I'm staying away from, too. A little highlight from why they were looking at celiac disease was because I did show some antibodies to dairy, which is what made me realize I couldn't have dairy in the first place. Anyways, these chocolate chip cookies I was looking for the entire time. I think it was the last Walmart that I went to had them. Now, they've had these coupons for a long time, $1.50 off of two. These are normally $3.48, so about $3.50. So for two of them, $7. They were definitely a splurge. I always would get two boxes of these cookies to get $1.50 off. So that would be $7 minus $1.50. So I could get it as low as $5.50 for two. Now the reason I was really hunting these down was because their sale for these was 75 cents per box. I was able to find one on the shelf, but always make sure to look above the shelves. There's extra stuff up there of what is on the shelf down below usually, and I was able to find two more, which means I was able to use this coupon on two of the boxes, which 75 cents each took $1.50 off of two. I got two of these for free. Now, if I would have been able to find another box, I might have been able to get four for free. But the third one that I got was 75 cents. So I was able to get two for free and one box for 75 cents. So that was the super deal. Now they are gonna expire in July and August, so I have to make sure to eat all of them by then. But that's not gonna be a problem. They are delicious. This is a Glutino Frosted Strawberry Toaster Pastry. So these are like Pop-Tarts, but gluten-free Pop-Tarts. Now I've heard Glutino is a really good brand. I have really been wanting to try these. I've seen these a lot, but for $3.98, there is five pastries. It was just not worth it to me. It was on sale for a dollar. So I thought for a dollar, it was a good time to try it. Now, I don't know if I have seen these on the shelves anymore. So if I like it, you know, but I probably wouldn't spend $4 on it regardless. But for a dollar for five of them, it's not bad. What really amuses me is the bottom here where it says bottoms up. Seriously, you've got the box upside down, sleepyhead. This is the Vans Gluten-Free Fire Roasted Veggie Crackers. Crackers baked with oats, brown rice, millet, quinoa, and amaranth. Now I love the Vans waffles, and I know I've heard Vans is a really good company, they do make some crackers that have cheese in them, but this does not have cheese. And fire roasted veggies sounded really good. So I really wanted to try these crackers out. They go for about $2.98. And I was able to get these for $75. I got two of these, so $1.50 for these. They expire in April, but these are not super huge boxes. That'll be just fine. One of my favorite deals was these gluten-free instant oat packets. The deal was good for even just a regular instant oat. I'm going to have to figure out what kind, what amount of cross-contamination my body can handle. So eventually I will be trying out just regular oats to see how I stomach them. For 
a lot of people that are intolerant or have celiac, they can't always tolerate oats even if they are gluten-free. But I have been tolerating the gluten-free oats and eventually I'll try the regular ones. And I've moved to just regular, not not these pre-packaged things, but just regular oats and adding my own stuff. But for the price that I got these for, it was totally worth it for a quick meal. So I got two of these gluten frita and they have eight oatmeal packets in them. There's two maple raisin with flax, three brown sugar with flax, and three apple cinnamon with flax. And because of the flax seed and extra stuff, it has five grams of protein and three grams of fiber, which is pretty awesome for an instant oatmeal packet. And those expire around October. And then I also got one of these Nature's Path Organic. There's a lot of people that like the Gluten Frida brand, which is why I trusted it enough to get two. I wasn't sure about this Nature's Path, so I only got one of these. This has eight packets as well, but it's only brown sugar maple. And this one expires in November. It has four grams of protein and three grams of fiber. Both of these, they were a dollar each. So I spent $3, which when you break it down is about 13 cents per packet. So even for a regular instant oatmeal, like Quaker instant oatmeal or something, or even the store brand, I don't, you can't get it that cheap. So 13 cents, per packet of instant oatmeal was just amazing. I couldn't pass that deal up at all. I know for sure that the Nature's Path was $4.22, and from what I can see, the Gluten Frida was about $4 as well, so that's $3 per box saved there. I have heard good things about Ian's gluten-free panko breadcrumbs. I've also picked it up a couple of times for Instacart orders, so those customers seem to like it as well. I did grab three of them. I didn't get the price, but what I can see online, maybe about $2.70, so maybe about $3 in store, but on sale they were only 75 cents each. So that's at, at the very least $2 worth of savings per each of these. I don't use a whole lot of panko breadcrumbs, but I've been wanting to. These are good until about August. The next thing I have here is good until about October, but since it is just kind of a flour mixture, I might even be able to save it until my birthday in January. Let me know what you guys think down below if I could let this stretch another three months in case I need to use it. I did get four of these. This is the Great Value Gluten-Free Yellow Cake Mix. From what I can see, they have regular cake mixes for about a dollar. I think this was at least two dollars. I did not grab the price for this. This was at least two dollars, I'm sure, because it is gluten free. So it was on sale for 50 cents. So I was able to get four of them for about the price of just one of them. I'll probably have to use at least two of these per time that I make a cake or I'll give it to my mom to make because she makes my cakes. It's just yellow cake mix. They didn't have any of the other flavors, but I thought this would be a good staple to have on hand. Now this was one of my favorite deals. I've been using this Bob's Red Mill Quick Cooking Oats for a little bit now. Uh, I tried the Quaker at first, but this was, I think it is just mildly cheaper. Now, the thing that stinks is I have not seen it on the shelves at Walmart since this was on sale. This was the last one I could find. I really hope that they bring this back because I do love it. Uh, I'm getting ready to open this to make some more of my overnight oats. Usually, this is six to seven dollars, which it is worth it. I took this up and I asked the cashier how much it was so he quickly scanned it and he said $1.50 and I'm like, yes, I'm taking that. $1.50, I saved at least $4.50 on this, up to $5.50 because I will buy this at full price sold. And after I finish this, I'll probably just try regular oatmeal to see how I can tolerate it. Um, or at least after I've been gluten free for a while so that way I can really see how my body handles it because I need to have a baseline to start at. These were a super deal as well and that is considered for even just regular oatmeal. So these are like the instant oatmeal but like in 
in a little cup. I have two of the brown sugar and maple and three of the apple pieces and cinnamon. They also have flax and chia seeds in them. They both actually have seven grams of protein. This brown sugar and maple one has seven grams of fiber and the apple and cinnamon has eight grams of fiber. So this actually packs a little punch. They were 25 cents per container and their original price was $1.88. So that's $1.50 saved. These are gonna be great for when I have to stay out of town for work and if I need a little something at the room that I'm staying at, I can have these. They are good till around December. If I need to start eating them up at home, I can do that as well as it gets closer to December but these were fantastic. Even if you look at the prices of like the regular Quaker like instant cups like of oatmeal like this, they are about $1.50 to $2 as well. There have been times where I have bought those for the sole purpose of taking them with me out of town. Finally, pasta. Lots and lots of pasta because they are all at least good for one year. Uh, some of them are good for two years and I can definitely go through all of this pasta in two years. Now these were the things where I wasn't going to clear out the shelf so I actually got a couple from each store because I wanted to leave them behind because gluten-free pasta they're usually at most expensive three dollars. When I would get them, I would try to get them on sale for at least $2. Usually that's the lowest I could get it on sale. Now, regular pasta is usually, you can find regular pasta for about $2. And on sale, I used to get those pastas for a dollar. But since I had to go gluten-free, I did understand that if I'm gonna get something on sale, it has to be about two dollars and this is actually a recommended brand i've seen by a lot of people tink yada sorry if i don't pronounce that right tink yada pasta joy this is the brown rice pasta not mushy which is very important for gluten-free stuff i got the spirals i got six of these spirals the brown rice pasta spaghetti style and i got six of these as well both of these kinds were 75 cents each from the regular sell price that i would try to get it at because it, pasta is a little treat especially now being gluten-free even if i get these it's a treat i'm not going to have these every single night which is why this probably will last me almost the full two years until they almost expire which is why I went ahead and stocked up on them because that saves me $1.25 from even the sales price per package. Times that by 12, and that's at least $15 saved. Now, I probably wouldn't get it at normal $3 price, so that's why I'm going with the $2 price for that one. Everything else is stuff that I would get at normal price. Uh, I wouldn't probably have gotten those at normal price, that the gluten-free instant oats I would get at normal price. This was good to have because if I did need it, I would have to get it at normal price. I really have wanted to try those panko as well as those glutino. I wanted to try those pastries. So getting it on sale was a great way to try them out. These instant packets of oatmeal, great to have on hand. Crackers are kind of a must-have. You gotta have some snacky items. I'm excited to try the pizza crust. That was a great price to try it out at. And of course, my favorite, these cookies over here. What a great price. I know that they, they have them for sure at Sprouts, so I can still get them. It's just gonna be a little bit more expensive than Walmart had them for, unless I can catch them on sale, which I'll probably try to do. Don't quote me on this, but I have estimated it to be about $61.77 of savings. So I got $86.02 of food for $24.25. And that's including how I usually get these at sale price and how I always use the coupons on those cookies. So I am including those lower prices for those things. So $86 all the way down to about $24 for 36 items. I know this was really long, but this was a super haul of gluten-free, dairy-free foods. It's a good way to show you what brands that I do like and kind of just give you a little insight as to what's been changing with my foods. Now, of course, I get regular stuff. Hopefully, I can start bringing more hauls again 
I just have not had time. Usually I come home and I have to unpack it, put it in the fridge. And then with everything changing, trying to figure out my new diets and stuff, it's just kind of been off the wall. I took these, I had them all packaged up still, but now that I'm gonna go gluten-free again, I've brought them out so that I can put them away and use them. What are your favorite gluten-free, dairy-free foods? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm so glad to share this with you guys. I'm sorry the clearance, at least to me, it happened really fast. The shelves got cleared out right away, but Hopefully you can find some of these products and see if you like them too. Or of course put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.